Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to my Claire's Receiving Exercise 1. This is something that um, I was guided to do in my development. And I have found that it really helps to strengthen your mediumship or psychic foundation. Even if you're a healer, really, because at times when you're doing healings, you can be receiving information, whether it is that you feel it, you hear it, you see it, or you know you want to say. And so with this exercise, what the intention is, it, it is for you to gain the understanding of how you receive information and also recognize when you're receiving the information in these centers. So let's begin by the importance of understanding which chakras are connected to our clear feeling, hearing, seeing, and knowing. So we know that the clear sentence comes from where the power builds, and that is the solar plexus chakra. That is where our will is, our power is. And so that makes total sense. This chakra vibrates at 528 hertz, all right? And that's unconditional love. That's the state of change, okay? That's the state of an expanded aura, at that point, your aura is wide open and you've come to be with your subconscious mind to receive information for yourself or to connect uh, with the soul of someone if you're reading them psychically or souls of those on the other side of life. We know that this center is very important because this is where you as a medium can feel the power build and you'll be able to tell when there is a soul coming in from the other side of life to be with you, either if you are communing with spirit or if you are reading someone and they're coming in to be here from the other side of life for your recipient, your sitter. Um, we then go to our clear audience and that is our clear hearing. So when we hear with this center, it's with our inner hearing, not hearing as we do on a daily life. It's our inner hearing that we focus on here. And a lot of students, and even for myself when I was developing, they feel to um, hear from the, the lower back side of their head is where they kind of sort of most of the time feel that they can hear. So again, it's inner hearing. And that center, that clear is connected to your throat chakra. So the throat chakra vibrates at 741 hertz. And this is our sense of communication. And of course, we're going to hear from the center, right? Because this is where we receive to communicate. So we know that with the center, uh, if we are receiving imprints from those on the other side of life, if we're a medium or we're receiving imprints because we're reading psychically or even hearing something from someone's higher self, that it is important then to also uh, not just say, okay, I am clear audience and that is, uh, you know, an ability that I have, but always maintain and balance the center as well as your solar plexus. So any of these chakras that are connected to your clears, uh, you should focus on honestly just keeping balance on all seven chakras. But for the sake of this video, we're focusing on uh, the solar plexus for our clear feeling, the throat chakra for our clear hearing. And then we go up now to our clear seeing. And that is a focus that we want to come to of between the eyebrows. And that is connected to our third eye chakra. And our third eye chakra vibrates at a 852 hertz. All right. So th with this center, of course, we see with our spiritual eyes through our spiritual window, shall we say. So you don't see normally how you're seeing me or each other or objects on earth. In this human experience, you see from the same place that you imagine and the same place that you dream. But you're seeing this, uh, you know, through the process of your your reading. 
and this center is very very important because of course we are already you know coming to this place but we feel as if we're making things up so recognizing the center is extremely important i mean all of these chakras and clairs are important each and every one of them and we'll go over why that is in a second but when we're thinking of your clairvoyance we're thinking of feeling like we're imagining something a very quick image as if we're dreaming and so in the beginning of development, you question, I'm just making this stuff up. This can't be real. This is not, uh, you know, coming to me. I am just bringing it upon uh, through my thoughts. You know, it's coming to me through my thoughts. And I am not receiving this from anybody's soul or those on the other side of life. But after a while of, of really understanding when you're in this space and recognizing it, and through the evidence and validation that you get through your practice readings, you'll become comfortable in knowing and feeling confident that you are indeed receiving information from the subconscious, whether that is for you and your own subconscious or through your subconscious receiving for someone else's, uh, you know, imprints, emotions and thoughts. So this center is extremely important. Now we go then up to the crown chakra and when we're in the crown chakra that is connected to our clear knowing our our clear our clear cognance is when our clear feeling hearing and seeing is all activated at the same time and then we know that we want to say we know that we want to say and so with this chakra it kind of feels like we're receiving right uh thoughts uh, random thoughts come in when that crown chakra is active and that clear cognance is going it in in this one too can be tricky during development because we feel like it's our thoughts we're needing to learn to understand this space and recognize it when we are in the state of receiving something that is beside ourselves that is coming to us and this one here is very important because again a lot of people say oh i'm just clear sentence clear audience clairvoyant i'm not clear cognizance but really truly if you are receiving information from those three when those three activate you are receiving information but you lack the understanding of how to recognize that you're receiving from the center okay and you know you're vibrating here at 963 hertz so when you're in your crown chakra you're vibrating at 963 hertz and you are of course in that higher place of all that is and the frequency is a lot faster so once you get to this clear you are feeling like there's um warmth or a shift of energy in some way because everything is going faster than it normally does here in the earth plane things are a little bit more dense a little bit slower for us but when we're working in our spirit body everything seems to be going so fast so the benefit of the clears receiving exercise one is that you are able to understand and recognize each and every one of these clears and in a reading be confident because yep i know what that is i know that i'm feeling it i know that i'm hearing it i know that i'm seeing it i know that i want to say now why is it important to understand beyond what i've already stated well because if there and this is my philosophy if there is a visiting spirit from the other side of life as a medium and you're connecting and linking in and they were more emotional, they might, they might, because again, they have free will, it's up to them what they do, but they might come in giving you a lot more through your clear sentence, your clear feeling, because they were more emotional. While someone that was like a demonstrator that liked to show you here, let me show you, let me show you, might give you more through your clairvoyance. 
someone that was more expressive verbally would come in maybe possibly and give you more through your clear audience. So being aware and checking in with all three of these with any piece of evidence, whether you're a psychic, a uh, medium, or you're a healer, this awareness and checking in with your clairs with every piece of evidence, slowing it down and bringing it around and feeling it out will give you a longer and stronger link. It will allow you to unfold and give a story. So my goal with the Claire's Receiving Exercise 1 is to uh, use music. As we stated before, each Claire has a frequency. So we're listening to the 528 hertz and we're focusing our awareness on our solar plexus as we're listening to the 528 hertz. This is going to give you that awareness and understanding of how it feels when you're in that center. So when you are in a reading and you're receiving, you're understanding this. All right. Same thing like your throat chakra vibrates at a 741 hertz. And when you're listening to the music, it's triggering the activity in that center. And I'm asking you to focus on that center so that you're gaining the understanding and you are able then to recognize these during readings and navigate through these clears to receive the evidence, know how you're receiving it and to unfold it. So this is the very first exercise, one of three. And I hope that this brings a little bit more understanding for you in reference to why it is important. And to end this video, I want to say that I also ask you guys to sit not only with the 741 hertz, let's say, for example, for the throat chakra for the day that you're focusing on that specific clear, which would be your clear audience, your clear hearing. But I ask you to listen in the evening to that hertz while you're also playing the 639 hertz simultaneously. And that's the frequency of the heart center. And the reason I have you guys do that is because with that unconditional love comes that power that you need in the reading. But I want you to focus solely on the frequency to recognize it and then merge with that frequency of that unconditional love as well because that is the power and that has to be and should be something that you come into when you're doing psychic mediumship or even healing work so that you are in that expanded consciousness that is needed to do the work so again this is Lillian Suarez and I thank you so much for being part of my crew and I hope that you find this helpful in reference to understanding the Claire's receiving exercise one Bye for now, everybody.